Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Express on S3. It's a Friday morning as we lead up into the weekend. And of course, if you're making weekend plans, you might want to pop around to your local cinema to check out some of the latest releases out there, which is exactly why JP Sebastian is sitting next to me right now to talk about one of these. Uh, have you had a good week, sir? A very tiring week of movies and uh, uh, Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, in the thick of it. But you know what's... Uh, every time you start a new year, you go, there are these four movies I've got my eye on. Right. There are these five, like, that's definitely going to be on my list. Right. And for me, the one that we're talking about today is, like, one of my four or five. The Menu. It's called The Menu. It looks like a jaw. Oh, uh, oh, like a jaw. Well, I mean, even though... Like a jaw, like a movie every uh, now and then as well. D delectable, uh, of course, having the name like that. Ray Fiennes, look at that. Uh, obviously, Grand Budapest Hotel. Obviously, Red Dragon, uh, Francis. Yes. Dollarhide. We know who Ray Fiennes is. I don't need to tell you who Ray Fiennes is. One of the greatest Shakespearean actors we've had. Yeah, Anya yeah. Taylor-Joy, The Witch, uh, the chess, what's the chess TV show? The Queen's, Queen's Gambit. Gambit. That's right. Nicholas Holt from Mad Max Fury Road. The cost is strong. John wow. Leguizamo. John Leguizamo deserves so much love, guys. He's, anyway, look, Wowza, tell okay. you what. Uh, let's show you a clip from the menu yes. itself, just so you get a bit of a taste. Wink, wink. Ha, ha. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to do this all day. Uh, here's a scene from the movie that's out today. I'm excited. I'll tell you a bit more afterwards. All right. Who are you? Marga. My name is Marga. I've served many Margos. You're not a Margo. No. What the f does it matter? It matters because this menu, this guest list, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned. And you are not a part of that plan. And it's spoiling everything. In order to proceed, I have to know where to seat you. With us or with them. It's really, it's very important. And then you'll let me live? That you live? No. Of course not. Can't you see that? And that would ruin the menu. OK, all right, there we go. You've gotten a little bit of a taste teaser, but let's... He's uh... so spooky. <laughs> That was a weird scene, OK? Uh, bring us into the picture of exactly what is happening in the menu. And I think one of the reasons why that's a weird scene is because clearly what you've got there is this perfectionist chef, like right. Gordon Ramsay, three Michelin star, et cetera, et cetera. And you don't know if it's that he's peeved that she has invited herself as an extra. A chef plans by the numbers, a restaurant plans by, like, right. you know, if you're extra, you're going to be, like, gawped at for the rest of the evening. Yes, gawped. you've ruined the plan. So now, is he annoyed because he's, like, had this masterful sort of, like, dinner that he's had set out for, uh, for everyone else? Other than her, but also she says, so you're not going to kill me, so there's something else going that on. Is your, you, what, you're going to let me live? Uh, so here's a little short story of it all, is that uh, he uh, owns a restaurant called The Hawthorne, which, like I said, is like, you know, top flight cream of the crop and whatever, and right. the cream of the crop of society, go there to the secret island in the Pacific Northwest. Katlejo does not like that. Yo, it's when they close the them. door for me. And a person looks back like, wait, is there a second chance to, is there a window? <laughs> it's giving, <laughs> is my liver the aperitif? So, and... <laughs> Chianti and a side of fava beans. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the silence of the lamp thing. Uh, very good. A lot better, I'm sure. That was so much more delectable. So, uh, the uh, menu then, like I said, they're all stuck on this island. Uh, yes. Five star chef, three Michelin, whatever you call it, whatever. And there's this cult vibe. It seems like they've all been tricked, they've all been trapped. Uh, that there's this also most dangerous game, like the old movie where, you know, the hunter gets too rich and bored and he wants a new type of Yes, game, yes, yes, yes. The human being. So it seems like people get hunted. I don't know if they get cannibalized. It's half. Oh. It's got enough horror, it's got enough comedy. Hong Chao, by the way, who's in The Whale as well with Brendan mm -hmm, Fraser. She's mm -hmm. a fantastic actress. This whole cast is so good. Uh, yeah, the trailer doesn't let on a lot, but this is definitely one I'm going to rush out to see. Wow. She, she's, oh man, she was also in Split, of course. She's a horror queen. Mm -hmm, uh, the mm -hmm. Witch, they refer to them obviously as Scream Queens. Okay. And Ray Fiennes has been scary enough in the past and year. Surely proves that he's possibly going to outdo Francis Dollarhide from Red Dragon. We don't know. But uh, this is all in a very much in the vein of we've seen movies now like Parasite. Rich right, yes, yes, yes. Underclass, you know, like the rich getting stuck to them eventually. Uh, we have Triangle of Sadness right now on circuit where it's like, you know, $250 million yacht and stuff goes sideways because we're telling a st larger structural story about the implosion of capitalism. And so this chef seems like he's got a bone to pick. He's not just a mad dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, no, no, this is what I mean when I say it's a Joel. I'm so excited for this. Uh, it's, he's, he's got a bone to pick. He's clearly got history with each of these people because with each course that he brings out, it reveals more intrigue about each table. Yes, like and why these particular people were chosen why to they were be chosen. at that page. You know that you're Oh, I'm getting you're, it. You're it's in the spider's sense. web. I mean, I hope so. I don't know what the movie's about just yet either, but I'm super psyched, guy. Like, okay, so... Next clip that you've got for us. Yes, I, the, for the one that made you crepe the most, I think. <laughs> it involved a finger. <laughs> Let's have a look again at another scene okay, from okay, the here menu. Okay, here we go. We're leaving. Yeah. No, I have, have to get my rat. Forget your rat. Get up. Uh, Mr. Liebrand? We're leaving. Is something wrong? We're leaving. 
There is no boat to leave on. Then I'll call a helicopter. That would be very difficult without phone service. Move. Just, just do what they say. No, I can, take... I can. I'll, I'll handle this. Just, just, just With which handle. hand, Mr. Liebrandt? What? With which hand will you handle this, left or right? What the f are you saying? Shall we choose? Choose what? Very well, left hand. Ring finger. Come here. Come here. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mr. Libra, please hold still. No! no. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And, and the dude with the like the with the, 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 the chef's knife is just like deadpan. He's like robotic. Although that's the other thing, is that apparently the staff all have their own stories and their own bones to pick as well. They're not just drones of Ray Fines. So there's they a shot. lot of meat to uh, this. Underneath, and there's uh, plots and twists and turns and all that kind of stuff, apparently. Uh, I don't know just yet, not reviewed, not given a wow. score. Only gonna see it maybe sometime this weekend. Okay, okay. So certainly I think worth popcorn for sure. Just from, from what we've seen there, that line. On which hand would you like to handle this? And she's like, unreadable. Like, There's like no mean? signal. <laughs> I'm pop. Okay, so it's called The, the menu. menu. Do check it out. Big uh, screen. JP says it is one of his big top five, top four. Most anticipated. Most anticipa anticipated for um, this year. And hopefully it uh, is worth your popcorn. What about you guys, gents? Do you, do you fancy something like this?